Hello and welcome to the screencast where we're going to do something a little different here. We're going to use linear systems to uh, answer a question or solve a mathematical problem using MATLAB. And uh, on the screen here you see basically the problem set up. I have these four points here at 1, 2, 2, 4, 4, 5, and 3, 7. And what I'd like to do is come up with a line that goes through all these points. Now you can take a look at this and see that this is kind of an impossible problem. I mean I cannot put a line through all four of those points. They're not collinear. So what I might be interested in doing is finding the line that best fits these four points, the one that would go through what we might consider the center of mass. Now this is kind of an important statistical problem because very often we have data points that we collect from a survey or a scientific experiment and we like to fit those data with a curve that we can then model and we can use it as a model to make predictions or interpolations. Uh, this is called regression analysis in statistics and we do this a lot. Uh, many people use this in applications so um, we're going to try to solve this problem but before we solve it let's uh, think about just um, what the solution will look like. Well, I'm not really quite sure, but I think I could maybe draw the line of best fit. I'm not sure, but it would look something like this. Um, that's a line that doesn't, in this case, look like it touches any of the points in the uh, in the distribution here, but it goes through in such a way that it's the closest possible match to a line that would go through that distribution. It seems to minimize the difference or the distance from all these points. So let's go over and see if we can set up a system that will uh, help us find <coughs> Excuse me. Find the equation of that line, and then uh, maybe use MATLAB to help us solve that system. So again, here are my four points here. Now I'm looking for a line that's of the form, uh, obviously, would be the form y equals mx plus b. If that's uh, what every line looks like, and it would need to. I know this is impossible, but I would need to go through each of these four points. Now, notice when I give four points, what I'm really doing is giving four x y pairs. So, for example, if one two were on this line, then when I put in one for x, I should get two out for y. So that would give me an equation. It would give me two equals m times one plus b. That's what I would get by putting in x equals one y equals 2. I'm going to rewrite that in just a slightly different form. m, sorry that's terrible, m plus b equals 2. So that's an equation that I get by assuming that this point lies on this line. If I assume this point lies on this line, I get the equation 2m plus b equals 4 because I'm plugging in 2 for x right here and getting a 4 out. So what you see here is I'm creating a linear system. I have these two unknowns, m and b. If I, know, if I knew those, the problem would be over. And I'm using the data points that I plotted to generate little linear equations. And so it looks like I'm going to have four of these. The third one is going to come from this point, 3, 7. If I plugged in x equals 3, y equals 7, I'd get 3m plus b equals 7. And finally, this fourth point down here, if I plug in 4 for x, I'd have 4m plus b equals 5. So what I have here is a linear system in four equations and two unknowns. Now that is something I can turn into a matrix uh, or matrix format as follows. Okay, I would have a matrix and the coefficients would be 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1. And uh, I would be multiplying that times a vector. Normally we call this x uh, with a bold face, but that would contain the unknowns m and b. If I stop right here, I uh, realize if I multiply this matrix to this vector, I would be forming a linear combination of these two columns with these two guys as the weights. So I would have m times 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, which is what you see over here. And I would have b times 1, 1, 1, 1. That's what you see here, these four b's here. And all that stuff would be equal to to the vector 2, 4, 7, 5. So what I have here to find this line of best fit is a linear system. And I've taken and set it up using just a formula for a line, these four data points feeding into it, and that spits out this system of four equations with two unknowns, which can then be turned into a matrix format. So now what we're going to do is go over to MATLAB and see what we can do as far as solving this. Okay, so I've set up my linear system for this line of best fit elsewhere, and I'm just going to implement this in MATLAB. Coefficient matrix is 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, and 4, 1. And the right-hand side vector, well, I'll call that B, that was equal to 2, 4, 7, 5, this column vector. And now simply to solve the system that I've set up, I can use either linsolve A, B, and this gives me um, a, a pair of numbers, and just to see that we get the same pair of numbers from the backslash operator we do. Now what are those numbers? Well remember the uh, first 
entry in the uh, the solution vector was m, and the second one was b. So this was a, a little lowercase b, not the vector b. And so what this is telling us here is that the slope of my line of best fit is 1.2, and my y-intercept would be 1.5. So we would be looking at the line y equals 1.2x plus 1.5, and that ought to be the line of best fit. Uh, let's go back over to the picture and draw that line and see how good it really is. So now for the moment of truth, we're back here in our uh, coordinate grid with our four points, and I'm just going to tell my program here to plot 1.2x plus 1.5. Now before I hit enter to plot this thing, remember that we were suspecting that the line of best fit kind of shoots right up through here somewhere. Uh, visually, that seemed to be the best fit. Uh, what does uh, the MATLAB generator result give us? Hey, it's something pretty close. Uh, so again, this is not a line that fits perfectly. So the solution that we got from MATLAB a minute ago, <coughs> excuse me, you can go back and check, is not an exact solution. Uh, but it does give us the least square solution, uh, i.e. that's the best approximate solution that we can find. And that's pretty helpful here because there's no single line that goes through all, three, all four of these points. But this one goes through as best as possible. And we generated it. It's a formula, the particular model using the MATLAB uh, linsolve or backslash command. So there are lots of variations on this, uh, one of which you're going to see in your lab problem set this week if you're in CMP 150. And uh, have fun using this. It's a very powerful tool. Thanks for watching.